Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're going to be touring the island of Me You Falls by Direct Paradise over on Instagram. If you're not following Direct Paradise, I will leave a link to their Instagram down in the description below along with the dream address. Me You Falls is a waterfall core. Yeah, you heard that right. Waterfall core island and it's absolutely stunning. If terraforming like a queen is your dream or a king is your dream, then this is the island that you want to study. It's absolutely phenomenal. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get started. So first off, we are at the entrance. This entrance is absolutely gorgeous. And as you can tell by the name, there are waterfalls, waterfalls everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and go to the right in the front just to get started. Over here, we have this really beautiful view of this waterfall area over here. It's gorgeous. And our beaches are decorated with bunnies and ducks and bug models, some natural decor and a beautiful little seating area in case you want to take a break and have a snack right before you go camping for the evening. The campsite is located right over here on the other side of this little um, creek. Yes, creek. And there are waterfalls all around, as you can see, and it is absolutely stunning. So beautiful. I love this. Okay, so let's go up the incline. And up here we have Coco, our tropical little queen. I love all the brightly colored flowers that live, give a very tropical vibe. And over there we have Luna in the plaza. And this is the view to resident services. There's a nice backwards waterfall and a suspension bridge right over here. And it just gives you this most stunning view of resident services. I really love that so much. So I'm going to go to the left just to see what's over here first. And over here we have a little area that we can go through and see what's going on in front. Oh, and we have this view of this beautiful waterfall area right here. It's absolutely stunning. So it looks like there's a little viewing space up here. So let's go see what this is all about. Oh, wow. So all of this terraforming is to the left of resident services and it looks gorgeous. So beautiful. I love this so much. Wow. If we can continue over here, we see that the beaches are decorated over there. And then there's this little pathway that leads right over here just to give us a view of this little sunken waterfall. I mean, the name Waterfalls really does suit everything. Me, you, falls. Me and you walking through the falls. It's so beautiful. Right here, we have another sunken waterfall view. It's super stunning. I'm going to go up here and see what it looks like because it looks like this is the overlook. And Direct Paradise is really good for letting you know how you should be viewing their areas. This is so cool right here. This backwards waterfall looks absolutely amazing. The items chosen look so good. Everything looks gorgeous. So if we move it along this way and we come towards the front of the island, we're going to have a little path leading to the Able Sisters. And the Able Sisters looks so cute. Just in all of the waterfalls and terraforming, the terraforming here is next level. It is so, so good. Wow. All right, we're going to continue along. We're going to go this way. The campsite is a little bit forward to where we are. And there's another sunken waterfall right over there on the way to Nook's Cranny. And there's another little bunny over here. Very cute. Nook's Cranny looks beautiful and natural, nestled over here at the end of a land bridge. Just looks really good, and I love the way this looks super beautiful. Okay, so making our way from Nook's Cranny, we're going to follow this land bridge right here, leading all the way around 
to the front of these houses. The houses seem to match. They're super cute. So there's an incline right here. I don't know who's on the island. So let's give the map a little look real quick. The bunny island. So we have Sasha, Bon Bon, Francine, Bunny, Chrissy, Genji, Toby, Cole, Coco, and Ruby. And holy water terraforming, Batman. Do you see this? Oh my gosh. There is so much water. That is a lot of water, my friends. Right now, we are here looking at these beautiful houses. Everything looks so good. Wow. And then, of course, we have some beautiful waterfalls. Let's go back where we came from. Me, you too. Hello. Her name is me, you too. Like Mewtwo. That's so cute. So I'm going to follow this little path right here. And on this path, we have a cute little reading nook right here and another villager house or another little villager neighborhood. Super cute. Also surrounded by nature and waterfalls. I love all the bamboo trees on this island. Super cute. And I think we have Bonbon bon over here. And check out that peninsula, guys. Let's go look at it. Look at this peninsula and the terraforming is so good. Let's go back here and take a look. We have a beautiful little stone pond and take a look at all of the terraforming along the side of the island. That is amazing. We have a little bunny walkway leading all the way to the very edge of the rocks where there's a cute little seating area for you if you would like to sit back and enjoy the ocean. If you go along the front, there's actually another little seating area right here on the other side of the river mouth from the campsite. Um, there's also another little view here and a relaxation area and a spa. I love that there's toilet paper right here. I love that. That cracks me up. We have so much potty humor on our channel. It's just so, so appropriate and funny. And then there's, of course, a little refreshment stand. Perfect for getting yourself a nice cool drink to sit by the ocean and enjoy this beautiful view. Okay, back to the mainland where we were. We have Genji's house and another villager house right over here, which was right over the peninsula and past a diagonal bridge. Super cute. And we have Bunny over here. Bunny's adorable. There's a little butterfly circle over here and it's just a beautiful little natural centerpiece. I love that. And back here we have Toby and this amazing view. Wow. Okay, let me get let me get it for you. Check that out. That is absolutely gorgeous. We have our rock garden down there along with a duck pond. It's absolutely stunning. Then if we continue down this incline over here, we have another little villager's home right over here. And it also looks super cute, surrounded by waterfalls. The waterfalls on this island are beautiful, stunning. I love them so much. And then we have this one backwards waterfall with a view of the ocean behind us. This is such a cute little area right here. I love this. Very underrated because the back of the island looks incredibly serene. I love the way all of the little islands in the back give us like a little bit of a view back there with the bubbles coming up from the sea creatures. It's just a cute little vibe back there and this looks so pretty. We have another cute suspension bridge over here that we can stand on and the view of that villager house from here looks so good with the waterfalls going down on either side. I love this. This looks so good. Having this little sunken area on top of a cliff, it's just really cool looking. And then if we come around this way, there's another little duck area over there. Super cute. And down here, there is a sunken pathway leading to the secret beach. Look how good that looked. So beautiful and the secret beach looks so good. So we're going to come back up over here and then go to these villager houses over here or this villager house right here. 
bath pole just hanging out in his little orange dress, dressed so perfect for this island. He looks really good here in that dress. And then we're gonna go along over here and see what's going on on this area. I'm gonna go up this incline. I don't know what is up this way, but I know I haven't been here yet. So I figure I will just take this path and see what happens. All of the beautiful decor and waterfalls are just stunning. Everything is next level over here. This is just how you level up your terraforming game right now. And they are level 125 mastery level. So if we follow this little path in here this way, there is a view of the museum back there. It looks so good. And then all of this terraforming before then. We're going to go down this incline and see what's what over here. Wow. This looks so good on its own little peninsula. Look how pretty this is. I don't love the museum, but I love the museum here on this island. The colors actually look really good with the colors on the island already. It just looks really good here. Like this is the kind of island that the museum really looks good on. This way, we're going to come to the main character's house. So this is Mewtwo's house. enough check out the interior of this house this is perfection absolutely stunning with a beautiful seating area over here the plant partition everything looks so good right along this way we have a cute little mermaid bedroom this is something i can envision one of my kids wanting to sleep in one of my daughters Yes, they're 20, but they would still sleep in a mermaid bedroom. Here we have a cozy little kitchen area. Super cute and cozy. We have a little cutting board and a carp on a cutting board. The plant partition under the window is gorgeous. The chairs are beautiful with this tablecloth and the turkey day rug is perfect. I just noticed that the Halloween flooring is here and look at how cute that looks here. Everything looks absolutely perfect. Now moving back here, we do have the Cypress tub, a little bathroom. It looks like we have a little loo. There's a little privacy curtain over there for like a dressing area and an area to get ready. Look at the little shoes over here right next to the shoe boxes. Super cute. I love that. So I've I've had my faith in basements tested, but I'm still going to check this one because this island's been so beautiful. I can't imagine there's anything less than a gorgeous mastery down there. Let's go see. Wow, down here we have what looks like a little apartment and there's a little seating area. Look, those are the shoes I'm wearing. I love the way they look displayed. This bed looks so cozy with that custom coat on it. It's beautiful. There's a little treasure map and some studying going on over here and some art in the corner. It is gorgeous. The last stop would be the attic, which looks like a little children's room. Super cute with some teddy bears and plushies, a lot of books, some really cozy chairs in the corner. I really love the wallpaper that was used here. That's really good. And all of the white furniture looks amazing here, along with electronics. Everything looks so good. want to live there not gonna lie that was a stunning house display one of the best I've ever seen honestly so good I'm telling you she does everything she does absolutely everything okay so we're on the area right next to the museum which of course uh, still looks beautiful from down here it took me forever to figure out how to get to this beach, but the beach looks absolutely stunning. I did see it was decorated when I was running around on top and I was like, but I want to go there and I could not figure out how to get here. But now we are here and there's a beautiful little camping area right over here. It's gorgeous. 
Look at that with the bikes and everything. Super cute. Right, this is where I'm gonna have to leave you, my friends. This island was absolutely stunning. Thank you so much to Direct Paradise for allowing me to tour your absolutely gorgeous island. I love it so, so much, and I know that all of you probably really loved it too. It is gorgeous. I highly recommend coming and visiting the Dream Address for yourself. It is beautiful. You will not regret it. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. I know you can be absolutely anywhere in the entire world, and you chose to spend a little of your time here with me, and I appreciate you so much for that. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.